Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and appreciate you guys swinging by the channel to check the video out today. Gonna give you my second day competition report from here at Grand Lake um, Toyota Series Tournament, let you know how I did today. Um, had a better day today. It's gonna give you guys a rundown on how I caught them yesterday and today. And also guys, um, I'll link all of my uh, baits that I caught them on in this tournament in the description of the video. If you guys would like to try some of the stuff I caught them in the tournament, you can get them through my Tackle Warehouse link in the description. Okay guys, if you saw yesterday, um, I had 12 and a half pounds yesterday. I think it was in 70th place, something like that, middle, middle of the pack. And um, what I did yesterday was um, I stayed in the stained water and uh, super, super windy. I was fishing basically, you know, just dirty water docks and coves lots of boat pressure at the area I was fishing. I was getting a lot of pressure, everybody trying to get out of the wind. And yesterday I caught two two on docks flipping a uh, brush hog, my first two, and then I caught my three best fish on that Mega Bass uh, 2.0 S crank crankbait. And that's the only five bites I had on it. And so I knew today I had to, to have some type of a, an alternate plan because the area was just getting hammered yesterday. So I decided what I was just gonna do, I was gonna go junk fishing. I was just gonna go run and fish every place that I've caught fish here in April over the past 50 years of fishing the lake. And that's what I did. I just junk fished around and uh, started out this morning and actually went back over to where I caught those crankbait fish right off the bat. And I caught two, I caught one almost three pounds and I caught another keeper flipping the brush hog. And then um, I said, wind was laying down, it was getting bright. And I said, man, I gotta make some type of an adjustment here because I could just feel the fish wanting to move shallow with the sun and the warm weather. So I decided to run down the lake in the clear water and start running, you know, those type of areas, those fish move into spawn. So I ran down there, first place I pulled into, flip, I started flipping the brush hog behind docks and I caught a good one, about a four pounder. So now I got a four pounder, a three pounder, and another keeper. And then I just started running that type of stuff, flipping that brush hog. And I was also um, pitching and flipping that Zoom uh, Zlinky, the, the soft plastic stick bait. And I wound up catching several more three pounders. And I wound up catching almost 16 pounds today. I think I had 15 pounds, 14 ounces or something. Gave me about 28 and a half pounds uh, total in the tournament. So. Um, salvage today, I think, probably moved up. I, I don't. I was uh, the turn. The, the weigh-in's about halfway over right now, and I think I'm in 22nd place or something, about halfway through. But you know, hopefully, I'll hang in there and get a check. But if not, I got you know some good points for the Toyota Series Championship because you know I finished 34th at the first one, so should have a decent finish here. So probably move up in the standings a little bit. But the main thing here, guys, um, sort of give you guys a little, you know. Uh, tips and advice on this time of year grand lake there's no secrets on it it's like this there's hundreds and hundreds of coves on the lake and it's like every place i went to had boats in it because there's been so many tournaments here over the years that everybody knows the best water there's been a lot of televised tournaments there's no secrets everybody knows the best water everybody knows where the dead water at is and even today as much water as i knew on the lake and i just ran and gun run and gun i literally fished from you know, one end of the lake to the other day, pretty much. I, I was in dirty water, I was in clear water, I was down by the dam, I was up the river, just fishing fast and just staying in those really good areas. Again, a lot of boats in those same type of areas. But the main thing to remember, guys, the water temperature here is close to 60 degrees. When that water gets to 60 and you get days like today, it's bright, it's warm with not much wind, you better be fishing something slow on the bottom in those spawning type areas, those flatter spawning type banks. And that's what I was looking for. And you know, my key players today again was that brush hog and the Zoom's Linky. I was fishing both of them on a lightweight, a 3 16 on the brush hog and an eighth ounce on the Zlinky. And uh, I don't know why I didn't catch more of that S crank. I caught my three biggest ones on it yesterday, fishing it in that, in that really heavy wind on some windy banks. And I couldn't get into, I couldn't get them to hit it after about nine o'clock. I thought I was going to catch a big bag on it, but I think that every single hour those fish were wanting to move shallow to spawn, and they got off the crankbait, got on the slow bait a little bit more, um, and wound up catching them like that. But Anyway, guys, they caught a bunch of fish here. You guys hear me talk about Grand Lake being on a downswing. It is. Don't let these, even though they caught good bags here, guys, don't let this fool you because it's the second week of April. It's the best week in the whole year to fish. 
90% of the fish that are normally just swimming out there in open water are on the bank now and they're catchable. So the weights are, it's, it's, the weights are inflated from what the lake normally is. Normally you have a, a top heavy deal here where you got 18 or 20 pounds wins the tournament and then 30th place is six or seven pounds. But um, a lot of fish caught in this tournament just because we had good conditions and it's that time of year. So anyway, guys, really appreciate you guys following me this week. Um, like I said, I'll link all that stuff, uh, my tackle warehouse in the description if you guys would like to try some of that stuff. It's working right now in the spring, and we'll check in later. See you guys.